Alrighty, here we go. 2021 Bone Draft Jumbo Case Break Number Seven. No paper, no paper, no paper, no paper. Base paper doesn't ship, but everything else does. Norby, base autograph for Baltimore. Sky blue paper to four ninety nine. Padres. Jordan Walker, green refractor for the Cardinals, number ten ninety nine. Painter Speckle. Uh, Ibarra, refractor autograph for the Reds, number two four ninety nine. for me. Cunha to one ninety nine aqua paper. Sky blue chrome, not numbered Urbina. Hernandez for the Cubbies, purple refractor to 250. Marceau for the Angels base autograph.
pretty much throw it away, burn it. Whatever we got to do to destroy it. Or donate it. Not really destroy it. But that was a joke. Donate it. Whatever I can do to get rid of it, pretty much. That was the first one. Only eight cases of Bowman? What do you mean only? We did eight cases of Bowman in only two days. day only go live for like five six hours gold nice hit for detroit check it out oh what yeah we'll have more one out of 50 gold i don't know how to say his name gold refractor autograph detroit nice 39th overall yeah, we have, we did eight cases now, but yeah, we'll we'll definitely have more. I believe we did like thirty, somewhere around, and probably probably maybe a little bit less than thirty cases last year. So I mean, there'll be more. It'll be probably have a case or two on the website for the next couple of weeks for sure. Next couple of months probably. Fifty. Have it purple paper to two fifty. Mets. Oh, that was the worst. You got like chap lips, and then you do something that just like rips them, pulls them apart. Oh, that's the worst. It's that hot and cold, man. It was like 
pretty warm just a couple days ago. Now it's like freezing cold. Steinmetz. Base auto. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. really haven't been chapped either maybe I felt I mean I kind of felt it coming on but not all of a sudden it would just freaking rip right down in the middle Nikhazy to 99 green paper Lau to 199, Aqua, Lava for the Nationals, and boom, got the gold earlier. Why not the true purple, true gold, true purple? Let's go, Detroit. No, we don't got, we ain't doing that. We're cool with how it's set up right now. Already got something else in the works, but that's not, that's not what we're doing. Williams blue paper to 150. Bedner to 150 true blue to to 150 again for the Giants.
Garcia. Come on. Yellow Lava to 75 Wilson for the Phillies. Stay focused, then it would help out a lot. Ooh. But just talking out loud about what Ice Trey brought up, though. Kali to four ninety nine. One just because I need something to talk about as we're going through these it makes it go by a little bit faster, a little bit easier. Zane Mills space autograph. Come on, dude. What the heck? It's like glitchy. Cardinals. I mean, you know, I mean, there is Bowman, various Bowman products that come out throughout the year, but like right now, the way we're set up, which is not going to be how it's set up in the very, very, very near future. But right now it's like, I break it next day. He comes in and sorts it. And I mean, it takes, it takes a while to sort and ship it all. So between the two of us, like we can't add anything. Um, but here in the very very near future no 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 i know i know you didn't mean it like that i'm just uh, just talking about it here for a second i know you didn't mean it in a bad way i know you were just pointing out like you know you know you got these breaks take a while so you could if you had two channels going on you could have these breaks going on and another you know but uh i was going to say is uh but in the very near future, plus two, the pro like, not, I guess it's a problem, but, you know, I do do this from my home. So the fact that you really can't bring much more than my brother in here to be working, you know, as a full-time employee. But here in the very near future, we will actually be moving into a separate space that will not be a home office, which I'm extremely extremely excited about it's not going to be a store that's not what i don't need that going on clark aqua wave for the athletics marso for the angels to 199 aqua wave i will we will have a separate uh office space for the breaks which then we are haven't made it totally official but Number to 250, Alvarez, purple paper. I'll do that whenever we actually have it fully official for sure. But I'm bringing in a third individual who will be assisting with a lot of things, including, you know, being able to go live, uh, more individuals going live, more individuals sorting and shipping. You know, that extra person allows for a lot of stuff so we can... And then two, the separate workspace. So like, because we're limited, and it, it's been fine. Don't get me wrong. I'm like, I'm, you know, we're doing fine the way it is. But at some point, it's like, and it's not. I mean, not, you don't. I don't have to grow it bigger. You know, obviously, growing it bigger. You know, obviously, theoretically, makes some more money. But you know, also that does bring in some other problems too, more stress and stuff. But it, you know, it is what it is. But. Um, we were in a pretty good spot, so I just kind of left it alone. But I, I've just recently got to the point where um, I like to be able to go live during the day, not just always at night. And but to do so, I can't. The home office thing doesn't work. We got kids, you know. It's just that's why. That's the only reason why I even started to go on live at night in the first place was lay the kids down to bed, and then I could go live in the home office you don't have to worry about background noise and kids running around and you know you, you already know so uh, I like to be able to go live you know like I said during the day we're not in West Virginia we're in Pennsylvania near like an hour away from Pittsburgh but uh so I like to be able to go live during the day, so to be able to bring a third person in, we can then, because there's also some downtime, even with my brother now, 
I feel pretty oh I feel pretty good about like you know it's nothing like some secretive talk or something but I just normally just kind of keep a lot of those things to ourselves and uh, kind of the inner workings of how we run everything like I said not like some sort of top secret classified information but but uh even now like there'll be times where there will be some downtime for my brother from sorting maybe he gets them done or maybe we were doing you know like dynasty baseball or something takes essentially no sorting involved you know so there are some times which we get some other things accomplished but ideally it's not it's not it's not very efficient the way that it's working so to do so like you know hey if we have a sep we have a separate workspace you get through all the breaks sorted instead of me giving you some odd job to do or whatever it is go live go live for an hour or two whatever it may be try to sell some boxes maybe doing some value breaks or whatever it may be sell some personals you know whatever it is so there's there's that but then also I'm talking and doing this so i'm probably gonna yeah I, I i used to live in west virginia that's where the whole west virginia thing came into play I grew up in West Virginia, but then we ended up moving up here. Um, I lost my train of thought. I'm going to try to talk, but also be efficient with this. Miller, base autograph. Um, so being able to do that would really help out. So if we're in a, in a separate space, no more home office. There'll be times where we could go live during the day, like I said, and then um, there'll be other individuals that can go live at other times. Multiple people, you know, an, an extra set of hands. Luciano, orange paper to 25. Another set of hands to, to sort the cards and also ship out the cards and also help me Purple Refractor for the Padres. Help me with our content game is going to get stepped up amazingly. You guys will, I mean, I'll let everybody know whenever, you know, because you'll see him on the on the stream because I'll be training him and my brother about going, going live and all that kind of jazz. So you'll start seeing him on the stream and everything. Well, you'll see the back. Everything's going to be looking different. Not the, well, you'll just, like, the background's not going to be my home office anymore. But, um... But you'll you'll notice whenever we're we're uh, Sarantola refractor autograph KC number to four ninety nine. We'll have um, content game. Oh, it's going to be really great. We're gonna because right now, I mean, I'm pretty much with content and social media. I would consider us like barely staying afloat, if you will. And not only will we be able to make sure that we're always above water on that, those kind of things, I, I do think I'm lacking pretty heavily in those things. And I, you know, I have some knowledge that I can kind of ramp it up some more, but I just, I just don't have the time. It's, it, the time's just not there. You know, me going live, run the business and do all the back end stuff, but then having to be live all the time, it, you know, it just hurts. Some aspects have to kind of take a hit and that's one of the ones that's really taking a hit so um that'll be ramped up we'll be making a lot of, a lot of nice content stuff will look more professional fresh mccants 4.99 so the new guy is not currently card sa savvy um no so we'll, we'll have to train him on that but to be honest, it was going to be very difficult for me to find somebody that is card savvy because, I mean, I, I'm sure I could find somebody local here, but he is obviously familiar with sports. And I think, you know, you can, you can get caught, especially opening up cards all the time. What do we got here? Red, let's go for the Rockies. Benny Montgomery and Jaden Hill, three out of five. Dude, we pull so many reds. It's crazy. 
Rockies. Michael T, nice hit. Have you guys been seeing a lot of reds get pulled out of cases? Because this is like, we've hit like six reds out of seven cases. It's like a red a case almost. But So he is not card savvy. So there will be some training involved with that. But if we're being honest, whenever I started this, I wasn't extremely card savvy. I mean, I collected cards and uh, I've always been around sports cards and gaming cards. But I had to learn a lot on the fly. Beck, base autograph. And opening up these cards and talking with you guys, you know, obviously you guys buying in on all these breaks, know, you know, good knowledge of cards yourselves. You know, I've built up my knowledge base all, tremendously where now, I mean, people come in here, we pretty much can answer any question that people have regarding, you know, whatever you pretty much need to know about a card. I, I, I feel like within the past, any card in the past, you know, four or five years, I could probably... I could probably answer it, but, um, uh, but yeah, so we'll, we're going to have, you know, there's going to be a lot of, um, nice social media posts and a lot of nice TikToks and YouTube shorts and a lot of just content. Whoop. Williams Genesis insert fell there. Um, no, I haven't seen a lot of reds except the five. Okay. Yeah, that's great, Mike. That's on, that's honestly great. That's impressive. But um but yeah, like I want like a lot of nice videos and stuff where um you guys have the breaks here. Like pretty much just the whole suite of stuff, you know, stuff that's happening in the hobby, big time, you know, record breaking sales of cards and um, interesting things that are happening in the hobby and uh, more of more um, kind of hobby news and uh, upcoming products that are coming out things of that nature other than me just being live saying oh what's coming up next next week you know and well, I'll name the product or two and that's pretty much all I do you know so it'll be a lot more content coming at you that you guys can I think we'll be able to learn a lot from and stay more up to date with stuff that we're doing here and just, you know, stuff that's happening in the hobby. So yeah, ton of nice YouTube shorts and TikTok videos and, um, better postings on social media, better, you know, hashtags and everything to really make everything. So that's going to be the one thing that you will see that really, really is ramped up. That's one of the key things that is gonna be starting to get worked on. And then, like I said, we will have, you will see some different people going live from time to time. And as for the schedule of going live and stuff, that's one big thing that I really have to kind of manage and figure out that I don't have um, fully done yet and I don't think I really will I think it's going to be a little bit of a, a work in progress it's just kind of playing trial and error you know I think I have one idea of how it's going to work in my head right now but once we put it into practice it may not be exactly what I want but uh but yeah so ideally we're going to content's going to be so much better. Purple paper for the Brewers to 250. Content's going to be way better. Additional people going live. There will be more, like, definitely going to be some, you're going to see, you know, obviously more people going live to do these sort of breaks and everything. But additionally, we're going to have, like, uh, micro breaks, if you will. Torres, purple for the Reds. Number to 250. Purple auto. Some micro breaks where we do more, you know, cheaper uh, breaks. You know, not all the time, but maybe there'll be a dedicated time slot or slots throughout the week where we have, you know, one box divisional. Stuff that we used to do, you know, obviously once we you get to a certain point, it's pretty much a lot more of the bigger breaks, but... Definitely some, uh, like, you know, let's call them micro breaks, value breaks, if you will. One box divisionals, random packs, what a, you know, all that kind of stuff. 
Um, there'll be that. Uh, Penna to 199. What else? Um, yeah, just a lot more fun stuff that we can continue to work on and and do. We won't, like I said, I, I don't anticipate having like a separate uh, channel, but you know, like, you know, say I'm going live, we're doing boxes. Uh, this one's got a bad left corner there. Uh, Kenny TB Rays, green paper to 99. But you know, maybe I'm going live. Uh, and during that time frame, you know, I have one of them go live on Instagram to sell some personal boxes or whatever it may be. Like, I mean, we're going to be multiple platforms, white, base autograph, everything that really I would like to be doing a long time ago, but just, just didn't pull the trigger. I felt pretty comfortable where I was at and I didn't really want to change it, but I do feel as if now, um, I, I just feel now's the time to, uh, get this puppy rolling. So, so yeah, I hope you guys think that that's going to be nice. So should be pretty nice. Extra set of hands, helping out with a lot of stuff, being able to offer more to you. Like I said, content game is going to be huge. Yeah, I'm familiar with Whatnot. I do want to get on Whatnot, but... I just, I have a problem with Whatnot in the aspect of... I like, I like the fact of like there's some yeah whatnot and there's loop I, i'm being real honest i'm just really not a fan of the loop app um i i'll will probably be on whatnot there probably will be some nights that we are on whatnot um, um but whatnot just seems I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are getting taken advantage of on whatnot. I don't know if you catch that vibe or not, but it just seems like a lot of, there's a lot, like, I don't know if I want it. That's the thing. I don't know if I want to be classified with, with something like that, where like, I don't know. I feel like people are getting taken advantage of on that app. I feel like there's some nonsense going on. Cespedes green refractor to nine to 99. And I mean, you could talk about your experience or and whatnot, but, um, uh, no pun intended there. Mason Black to 199 for the Giants. No. Yeah, we're not going to do that. They're, you know, my brother's personality is pretty similar to mine. Uh, this other gentleman's personality, which I know. This other gentleman, actually, we um, actually have a lot of different. We're actually connected in a lot of different ways. The first connection we made was we actually used to be friends in elementary school. So. Or that's when we started to be friends in elementary school, I should say. Rodriguez to 499. But yeah, the Whatnot app, I do actually want to get on the Whatnot app because I think um, I like I like that they they have the payment processing all set up right through the app. I think we can actually run what I would like to do on Whatnot, and you can tell me if this is maybe would not work or like it or don't like it or whatever. But we used to run auctions for teams not not selling singles i mean we could do that but that's not really what i want to do i don't really care about selling singles or mystery packs i mean i do my own repack but i don't want to be doing i don't know i just that i don't know that's just not that's just not us people do that and that's fine that's just not us but what i would um like to do is to go back to our roots on the whatnot app and do single box team auctions just like people do the auctions for the singles, but we're doing team auctions for, for box breaks through the Whatnot app, I think would work um, pretty well. It, like I said, it kind of brings us back to our roots because that's where I all started. That's the only way I could get people in. I was doing one box auctions. People were getting teams for a dollar or two and, um, you know, it was awesome. So those were fun. So that is something that I do I, you know, I've always obviously been thinking about this kind of stuff, and I do think that that would be awesome to be able to offer 
again to you guys. It's just ideally right now, it's just not worth it. I mean, if I'm being honest, those auctions take forever. You know, it takes forever to go through 30 teams and sell all 30 teams and then we open up and it's only one box and then we got to do it all over again. So um, it just is it right now. It's just not optimal for me to do that. It's, you know, it's just so kind of, you know, a waste of time really when we could be, you know, doing selling stuff another way. But you get where I'm going with this. You guys liked them. We enjoyed them too. So having, you know, yeah. So, um, but like I said, maybe we'll, we'll end up with some sort of schedule, you know, there'll be, you know, we are doing case breaks on our, on our, like our normal break nights or, or break days, whatever it may be. Uh, will be pretty consistent. We'll still, this will be the bread and butter for sure. This is going to be the bulk of it, but there will be, you know, like I said, maybe we have on, I'm just making something up here, literally off the top of my head, but maybe on Mondays, we got personal boxes on Instagram and on Tuesdays, we're on whatnot doing box auctions. And on Wednesdays, we got non-sports, non-sports and WWE with my brother on, you know, on the YouTube channel. And on Thursdays, we're all doing uh, micro breaks from six to eight. And you know what I mean? Like we'll, we'll have it set up nice. And uh, I think it's gonna be awesome. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I would like to do it, but if I'm just being honest, like it's just not, um, it's just not optimal for me. I just, you know, I obviously if do not make a whole lot of money doing, you know, because by the time in a break night, I can only do so many of those auctions, you know, maybe a case worth of stuff or something. Whenever we're doing it, doing breaks like this, full case, pick your teams with fillers and everything. Morales base for the Mariners, you know, we can get through so much more and, you know, just being honest, I run a business. So that's just why I don't do those anymore. Although I know you guys enjoy them. I enjoy doing them. I think they're fun, but business sense, it just didn't make sense. Bush to 199, but bringing it back, bringing able to off, being able to offer that. Yeah. Um, you know, I thought about doing, um, you know, not, uh, you know, obviously, if, you know, thinking through everything. So as for eBay breaks, you know, I just think that we have kind of grown past, far past the eBay stuff. Now, the only thing that I do like that eBay can offer in that sense, Lawler, Sky Blue Chrome, not numbered, Hamill, Blue to 150 for the Mets, is player breaks. So I, I'm, I do, I don't have it set in stone or anything, but I do anticipate that you will see us from time to time. Definitely not all the time. It probably won't be for Bowman draft breaks, even though that probably is what most people would like to see. Batty is doing some player breaks via eBay. I mean, that's pretty much the only way to do the player breaks. I mean, I'm sure some other people have done them in other kind of formats but the, the player break opt uh player break auctions on ebay that option to do that is pretty nice i mean it's pretty nice and uh petty number to 4.99 for the twins refractor auto so but yeah i just you know ebay yeah the, the fees suck and you know but um you know, yeah, it's, and it's, that's exactly why I used eBay previously. And I, I've only ever have done maybe, I don't know, 10 or so eBay breaks ever. And I obviously haven't done any in the so long. But whenever I first started that first year or so, we would probably do maybe one a week, I think we used to do. Lawler, sky blue paper to 499 D-backs. Um, yeah, is the whole point of it is it brings a new set of eyes to our channel and to our breaks and everything. So, yeah, like I said, all these things I've already thought about. And a lot of these things I've done in the past. It's just, you know, now we're kind of just, we have one way of doing it. And if we're being honest, this is the most optimal way to do the breaks 
um, business wise. So haven't been touching any of these other things, but yeah. but yeah, so yeah, and I think, but I yeah, and I do think the whole content thing that I was talking to you guys about is really what's gonna pull people in here, getting some more eyes on our brakes and stuff. Blue refractor for the Mariners to 150. So I mean, so I don't think the eBay thing, brat base, because I do think too like I don't know. I don't want to go into this whole eBay talk, but ideally we don't do much eBay. That's that's pretty much where where I'm going with it. I do think you will probably see from time to time, like you know, um, talk to my brother about you know he wants to do, um, well he enjoys like WWE breaks, and we do periodically do wrestling breaks in here, but you know, specifically talking about that, um, that would actually be you know a good thing to do you know like wrestler breaks on because. To do WWE breaks, I mean, you pretty much got random packs or random hits or serial numbers and stuff. Other than that, I mean, you could do letters and, but, you know, it's tough. But to be able to do um, wrestler breaks via eBay, you know, on a case of Heritage Wrestling that has a ton of cards in it, right? If you do the re uh, wrestler auctions on eBay, it works out pretty damn good, if you ask me. But that's just a side thing, too, but... Do you have business education? Um, I did go to school for, I went to school, I have a bachelor's degree in accounting and a minor in finance. That's, so, I mean, I went to business school, but um, it was just a little state school. So nothing too crazy, but I'm also, I've always been doing stuff. In college, I flipped, flipped um, some sports cards. It was mostly Pokemon cards. Did a lot of, I mean, I worked too. Worked at freaking McDonald's, call bank call center, things of that nature. But I used, you know, I was always like business hustling, doing stuff, you know, selling, flipping, uh, flipping stuff on eBay. Um, I remember we, whenever I was in the first grade, I would always set up this. We lived in a trailer park, and I always set up a yard sale and try to sell my toys to get, you know, uh, it's just always been that way of trying to, you know, just trying to make a buck, dude. We've always been poor too, so. Trying to stay alive. Survival. But, um... But, yeah. So, should be pretty awesome. And that's, like I said, getting into a new space to allow us to be able to do more than just really at night kind of breaks. And then bringing in a third person, which, ideally, I have a fourth person because I would like one person to strictly be a sorter which is probably going to be the case. I like, ideally, I have one person that only sorts. And then that would take a load off of the other two people that I'll have. And then that we can focus more on breaking and content creation, things of that nature. That was the real hustle at McDonald's. Freaking now they get paid freaking fifteen dollars an hour. I was getting paid seven twenty five. I would bring home. I don't even think my paycheck. If my paycheck was ever four hundred bucks, I was happy. But yeah, so it should be awesome. We're gonna be on. Like I said, it's like I said. Right now, it's pretty much. I'll be honest. I'm, I mean, we're just kind of staying afloat i mean we're doing good don't get me wrong but as for you know being able to offer more stuff to you guys and making some stuff just cleaner and more efficient and being on several platforms and all that kind of good stuff it'll it's going to be good pygaro purple paper to 250 i'm pumped up about it i'll give you guys more information but i hope you're pumped up about what i talked about so far Blue Jays, 27 out of 50, gold, class of 2021, Hoglud. Hoglud? But yeah, I plan, I plan on having some sort of schedule set up where we're, you know, XYZ day at time. We're, uh, you know, live on Instagram or doing this or that. or Should be a lot of fun.
Harry Ford to 99, Speckle Green, Seattle. And also, um, you know, if, you know, all four Bowman breaks, for instance, maybe having a second person on the live stream will kind of expedite the process a little bit, being able to move this chrome and paper and sleeve and stuff up as we go sort of thing too. You know, it's, it's Povich to 499 for the Twins, Refractor Auto. You know, things like that that, you know, will really, really help. And like I said, I've never been, I mean, I know, I mean, I've been fully aware of the fact that, you know, having a second person during the live stream obviously helps and having more people working on stuff and being able to, you know, do everything that I just talked about is like really good. Blue paper to 150, but my biggest constraint has always just been, we we have a home office with kids and everything so that, that in the day it's pretty limited. And like, like I said, we are doing it from our home. So how many people that we can really have here working and everything, it just, but um, and I've been pretty comfortable and I, you know, I enjoy being able to do it from home and seeing my kids a whole bunch and, you know, just always being here. It's, it's nice, but at the same time it has, you know, it has its cons for sure. And I think, I think now's the time to jump into a new and exciting endeavor and uh see what we can where we can take this thing but I, I will tell you i have a very strong we are going to be doing like i said we are going to be having more sort of offerings for breaks but we will have a strong emphasis on content strong if emphasis on the content doing break night for football but no nah, i don't really like that i mean i know you know purple refractor to 250 i mean i know some people only break baseball some people only break football some people only break um basketball gray base auto for the cubs but that's tough to do where you only have like one specific sport night you know i mean that's tough that's tough. I don't want to get into all the details on that one, but that one, that one's a little tough. But I, I mean, I do acknowledge that a lot of people are like that, you know, Hey, I, I, I mean, I, I get involved in everything, but you know, I mostly enjoy football, but that one's, that one's tough. Web to 499. Oh, you're saying, oh, you said day breaking for baseball and night for, but yeah, but it, but the problem is too, like I said, it, it won't exactly be as clean as like, we'll have day breaks and night breaks all the time because then, that's where, ultimately that's where I'm saying we need four, a, a, another person to make a group of four because, um, The additional time going live and doing breaks is going to require more sorting and I can't just take you know take that person and say all right well now we can double the time that we can go live now that we have you but we still only have the same one sorter so it's it's not going to be an exact like double up on live time though so that's what I'm saying where um, I have a lot to kind of uh, look at and try to schedule and time it and um, I do think it's going to be a, a uh, trial and error thing to kind of figure out what works for us, what's a good, because right now me and my brother, it's like we're firing on all cylinders. We know exactly. I don't even have to talk to him most days. He already knows what we need done. We get it done. Bada boom, bada bing. It's perfect. Everything's timed out perfectly for when we sort, when we ship, all that kind of stuff. 
So I have to really look into that, but it just seems to be that it seeks most of the damage. I mean, I think you're really just stuck on the Bowman thing. I mean, Bowman takes a while, but as for the other products, I mean, it's, it's you know, it's just the same products they come out with football that they do for baseball and, and basketball. I mean, the problem is is that Topps creates baseball and Panini also creates baseball. So there's more baseball products getting pulled out. But I, I don't know. I don't know, but uh, that I mean, it is true in the aspect of you know, be, it would be a good idea to be able to do baseball breaks during the day, and you know, but it, I don't know, it just doesn't exactly work that way. I don't know how else to better explain it, but but yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's not they all have you know we got long products for. I think right now you're looking at one specific point in time. Like right now, it's very glaring. Bowman takes forever. We also have like impeccable football and iMac basketball and those sort of breaks that, you know. But this is like one specific point in time where it's not always like this. But it is, I mean, that is, I mean, ideally that's kind of the thought process though being trying to be more efficient with how we're doing things and Hauser and I definitely appreciate the feedback I mean I'm not discounting anything you're saying keep keep keep, keep bringing up stuff and keep you know got an idea or whatever I mean I might call you stupid and or maybe 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 you're a genius I don't know but we'll take them oh no here comes squints everyone be quiet What's up, Squints? De La Rosa to 199. Love. Lawler to 250. Draft night. Should be pretty fun. Should be pretty awesome. Like I said, I really gotta sit down and try to fine tune it a little bit, but I know even still I have once once we start doing it. Wow, let's freaking go! D Bags, Jordan Lawler, Blue Wave, number 48 out of 150. Let's go. I know once we start doing it and everything, I'm going to have to kind of tweak it to make sure. Because it's going to be tough because it's not just like, like I mentioned, being able to go live more and everything. But you got to look on it at the back end. We still got to keep up with all the sorting and being able to ship out, ship it all out. So it's, it's going to be a little trial and error for a few weeks. But once we get rolling, it's going to be nice. Yeah, I mean, that's true. And that's what I'm saying, though, is like it, but it's only for a, you know, a point, a certain point, like whenever it's Bowman. And that's, this is just like any other time. I mean, usually I don't have this many other breaks on the website. So, I mean, maybe that's why it just fills a, a, a certain way. But, you know, whenever it's Bowman release, I mean, that's what everyone's ripping. Lawler, Refractor, everyone's ripping Bowman for the next couple of weeks. Like, pretty much that's going to be the majority of it. And then, you know, people that don't enjoy Bowman, you know, they don't like it. But, it is what it is for those little while, you know. Uh, uh, purple uh, sky blue paper to a four ninety nine. 
It's the same thing whenever, you know, like NT football com comes out. I know the one, this was obviously a couple years back because the case prices weren't what they are now, but we did like 15 cases at NT football in a night, you know, or that, like that whole weekend was like only NT football. Like that's the only thing I had on the, on the website, you know. Gold, one out of 50. Who had the bow socks? The Swarm with the Red Sox. Looking for that mayor. Zavala for Texas. We are moving into a separate work commercial space. It will no longer be, we will no longer be operating out of a home office. In addition to that, we are bringing in a third individual at Wolf's Card Breaks. Rodriguez uh, for the Dodgers photo variation. Oh shit, dude! I gotta think about a Super Bowl. Some of the, some of those big breaks now are like really take a hit because we can't do what we used to do before with those Super Bowl breaks because everything's so much more expensive. So it kind of gets nerfed a little bit, but at the same time, like the cost will be higher with less cases. But I mean, that's with everything we do now, but. I actually better start. I'm actually glad that you brought that up because I better start thinking about what I want to do for that break and start gathering up some stuff. But like I said, ultimately, at the end of the day, we will have our content game. It'll it'll be night and day. And I expect to be one of the best, I'm saying it now, we will be one of the best in the content, sports card content creation side of the deal. I'm saying it now. It's not going to be immediately, but we'll, we're going to get there. And we will be able to offer a more variety of break breaks for you guys, like I mentioned. Not to keep go into that whole thing again but more different break styles and break types cheaper micro value kind of breaks auctions that sort of deal different platforms possibly the whatnot I don't know like I said on the whatnot is it, who was in here was that Durs and who was I talking to about whatnot yeah Durs um, like I said, I, I feel as if, like I said, on whatnot, I just see a lot of like, I, I like auction these like card auctions that people are doing are going like for way more than like comps and stuff, which I mean, it's, you know, it's an auction. So it's whatever people are willing to pay. But I just, I don't know. It just seems like there may be a, a lot of like, not like not very knowledgeable customer base on whatnot. And, you know, obviously, I mean, I guess, you know, as a business sense, that's, that's uh, that sounds great, but I'm just not the, I'm not going to take advantage of people like that, but it just, uh, I don't know. It just, my initial reaction just seems like there's all people getting taken advantage of on there. And I just don't want to be like in that ring of, that's just not who I am. But if we can be able to do our one box auctions and that's not really truly the case, then, you know, obviously that's great. Oh, I know, I know you, I know you offered squints. I can't have you shitting on Panini products during the live streams, though. In addition to being able to offer that kind of stuff, like I said, the content side is going to be, you guys, I want to be, you don't need to follow a whole bunch of accounts and to know what's going on in the hobby and new things going on and new products going on. I, I, I'll have you. We'll have it. I got you.
Hey, man, I, I told, I, I knew it wasn't real, for being honest here, Brad, but yeah, I know you're just playing around too, but. Well, I mean, to, hey, if somebody wanted to buy them and you got them by straight up and they're not in the filler, I mean, that's not really what I ever do, but hey, I can help charge you. But it should be fun. It's going to be a little stressful getting everything set up and all that kind of deal, but it's all for the better. See, I don't know what I was doing there. That Kusik is just a base chrome, so whatever. I had a feeling between talking, I was probably top loading up some stuff that probably didn't need top loaded. Yeah, he already sent. He already paid. He said paid like 10 seconds later. I was like, dude, there's no way you just paid somebody 4,000 4, in 10 seconds. But at the same time, I'm saying that too. And then like, I'm going to end up doing these box auctions. And then like, you know, what happens is sometimes there's some drunk idiot that comes in and he starts bidding, you know, four or five times the cost of what the teams normally would go for and scooping up all the teams. And then, you know, a hundred dollar box auction ends up going like three hundred dollars for the box. I mean that. I mean I'll, that definitely happened on numerous occasions. You guys definitely remember that. But like that's what I'm saying. It, I mean it is what it is on the box auctions, but or it is what it is on the auctions. If people were bidding on that, I mean it is what it is. But I don't know. Oh, I think I think more of it is. Uh, um, now that I'm thinking about it better, not so much the auctions, definitely the auctions, because there are the times where like it'll be like a fifty dollar card that the auction goes for like a hundred on there or whatever, and it's just I mean it, that's what people bid. I mean, you know, it is what it is. But it's the mystery pack thing. That's really what I wanted to talk about. Three out of five red Montgomery and Hill for the Rockies is the um, mystery pack things that people are doing on there that are like absolute trash and then like they're saying oh wow you just hit a monster and it's like last sold for eleven dollars you know it's and they just paid 200 for a mystery pack like that sort of deal that's what uh i've seen uh a couple uh, several times people pointing out on twitter and uh facebook about some things on that app so that's just what i just don't want to get like caught up in you know Kind of. But I do like those, um, you know, those apps that pretty much similar to a breakers.tv, shout outs to breakers.tv, but they kind of weren't able to keep up with the times, but they were pretty much the OG in that aspect of being able to offer that sort of concept. If breakers.tv could just keep up with the times and could offer better you know, but, you know, everything better, really. But at one point, they were the end-all, be-all for sports cards. If you were getting in on a break, you were either in the blowout forms or you were on breakers.tv. But, you know, these apps are offering, you know, payment processing through the app. Lawler, Blue Wave to 150 you know, more sleek, modern designs and all that kind of stuff. Better mobile accessibility. Purple Torres. Purple and a gold, true gold. Alrighty, 2021 Bone Draft Jumbo, case break number seven, appreciate it. 